Hello friends. Good evening. So I am Dr. Sona Kaushal and I am live on my page, Dr. Sona Kaushal and I will be speaking to you on social impact. This social impact is a project which I have started on my page in which I take up topics which are relevant and which are creating ripples in the society and which are making an impact on the society and which are prevalent on uh, now uh, on the present moment. So yesterday uh, the board results were out so I took up this uh, topic of uh, how parents and children should react to the board results and, uh, and think about their careers. Uh, today I, uh, I was on the tele helpline and I received many calls from students and uh, one, of the, one of the calls was from a very distraught student who said that ma'am he wanted to pursue his course in engineering and he had his, uh, his marks were just average in maths and all and uh, he was an average student in college also. But uh, he says that his friends are saying that uh, you have to be brilliant in uh, a particular set of subjects of uh, maths, physics and science subjects to pursue a course in engineering, which he has, isn't. And he says that he didn't get the due, uh, you know, he didn't get the due uh, chances of doing some coachings or didn't get help. He is from a village area, but he says I am very dedicated and I want to become an engineer and I, I have a passion for it and I know I will make a very good engineer. But there are people who are telling me that you won't be able to do it because you are not up to the mark in that in your exams. So he wanted me to tell him what to do. I want to tell you a small story about uh, when uh, and a small story came to my mind uh, when I was trying to answer him. So let's wait and just see. I hope a few friends join in. So I'm Dr. Sona Kaushal and I'm live on my page. I'm a doctor and I'm a psychologist and a founder of Pari Foundation and I speak on mental health awareness. And uh, I'm live 9 p.m. every day on my page uh, to speak up on social impact. And the topic I've taken up today is that where there's a will, there's a way. And uh, your positivity should overpower the negativity which comes from outside. So uh, when I was answering questions to these students, uh, it came into my mind. Uh, this was a story that there were two boys, you know, a bigger boy and a smaller boy who had gone out to play in the village and they had gone into the deep, uh, deep into the deeper side of the village and uh, while they were playing and they were all alone there and there was a half dug well out there and uh, while playing they didn't uh, see it and one of the, the elder the elder one fell into the well. And there was no one around, so the younger child screamed for help, he called for help, but there was no one around and his friend had fallen down into the well. So then he, you know, put a, he took a branch and he put a branch there, then he put some um, or more things, uh, he put, took out his shirt and he tried to pull him and he did other means to help him to come out, but it wasn't possible. So he just told him to hang on there and then uh, he tried again with a few more efforts and he screamed for help, but somehow uh, nobody came to his help and he, and he was determined of course to save his friend. So what did he do? Uh, he ran deeper into the forest and you know looked for a bigger branch so that which could reach up to his friend down into the well. The smaller branches which he had were, were not long enough to reach to him. So with repeated efforts he failed to bring him up. So when ultimately he found a bigger branch and uh, he picked that bigger branch and he dragged it to the well and he you know put that end to it uh, into the branch into the well and the friend caught it from the other end and he dragged the branch outwards and managed to uh, and the friend climbed to safety with the help of that small uh, younger boy pulling the branch. So the, uh, they were so happy and then they hugged each other and they said thank God uh, all is well. So they went back very happily to their home and they told the story to their friends and they told the story to their parents and they told their story to the people around them. But nobody paid any attention. Nobody bothered and they said that these children were lying and they just laughed away their story. The children felt very sad because they were telling the true story. So they went and told it to a few more people who just brushed them aside and said, no, it's not possible. How can such a small boy pull out such a big boy from the well without any help or without any assistance? So nobody paid any attention to him. 
ultimately of course um, um, they felt very sad that nobody is believing them and they were telling the truth but there was one sane sage in the uh, temple who believed their story and he said no you are telling the truth and I believe you and he told his other people in the village also that these children are telling the truth and we should applause them and we should applaud the smaller one who managed to pull out the bigger one with such a lot of efforts and difficulty but then the people asked the sage that how do you believe that he is telling the truth he is saying children don't lie and uh, <coughs> and uh, the their expression and all tell me that they are telling the truth so uh, the people said that uh, but uh, how is it possible that such a small, tiny, whiny boy can pull out such a big boy from a well? I mean, where will he get that energy? So what did that sage say? That sage say, he, that man of wisdom said that, you know, the power of doing everything, the power, the willpower to do something is always within us. It is just that we do not realize that the power is within us because, uh, and we don't utilize it because, uh, there are people around us who are telling us all the time that you can't do it. So he said in, the, in this case, they were in the forest and there, was, there were no voices around them. Their parents or their friends or the people, nobody was around them uh, who was telling them, oh, you can't do it, you're so tiny, how can you do it, let it be. So there was nobody telling them you can't do it, so he did it. So he said the power to do anything or everything is always within us. It's just that we have to use that power and say no to those voices which are around us. Same applies to parents and teachers. Uh, most of us, our parents are telling children, do this, you can't do that, you're not capable of doing this. We are always focusing on what we feel the child can't do. You know, and that is demoralizing the child. And therefore, children are not able to give their best because they are not getting the right input from outside. And there too, and, and, and as of now, we are telling them that, you know, don't listen to those voices which are around you. But they do have an impact. So are you a parent who the voice around your child, which is positive and telling your child that you can do it? So motivate your children to do whatever they want to do. This phone call which I got from this child in that village, uh, lots of people were saying that they have no means there. He was poor. He couldn't do it and his marks were also not very good. Just average marks. He says, I didn't get much help. So lots of people were telling him, how will you do it? It's a very big project. How will you get selected into some good college in the uh, bigger cities? Uh, you, It's not possible for you. So he was, you know, he was not con. He'd lost his confidence. So when he spoke to me, so I became the positive voice around him and I said, no, if you are really determined to do something, you can do it. So go ahead, put all your efforts in, take all the means you can to find out what it entails. You'll have to put in a, a lot of hard work if it is required. If you are ready, nothing is impossible. So if there is dedication and if there are no negative voices around you telling you you can't do something, I, uh, you can't do something, I think that's a, uh, that's a, a very positive uh, you know, scenario for us. So say even if there are no voices around you, good enough. But if there are negative voices around you, pulling you down, demoralizing you, just put a mental filter here. Just take in whatever you have to take and delete what you feel is not good enough for you. So my, my say that the results are out. So this is again uh, extension of my talk from yesterday that parents, please motivate your children. Teachers, please motivate your children. Focus on their positive attitudes, not on their negative attitudes. Don't tell them you can't do this. Don't tell them you have not been able to do this. Boost them up. Say it's possible. You can do it. Go ahead and we are with you. And let the children make their choices. Support them from outside and you'll do wonders. So that was my take for today for the parents and teachers to be motivators, to be inspira inspiration and to be a motivator and to be a positive force for their children. Letting them do what they want to do, just and telling them that they can do it. It makes all the difference. So I'll sign off here. I think uh, uh, so, uh, 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 so Mahavir ji, hello, welcome, and uh, please share the video. And uh, I'll be uh, I'll be here again uh, after a few minutes, nine thirty, uh, with the same topic in Hindi. And please share the video if you like it. I'm a counselor, I'm a psychotherapist, I'm a doctor. 
and I am based in Dehradun. If you have any queries, please put it in here. So let's be the positive voices around people, motivating and inspiring them to go ahead and move on in their lives. Thank you. Signing off, Dr. Sona, Social Impact from Dehradun.